What if I told you that one of baseball's most iconic stats, batting average, may not be telling us the full story? Sure, it looks pretty simple. How often does a player get a hit? Getting a hit is a good thing, of course, but does simply measuring the number of hits a player accrues really capture their true offensive value? In this video, we're diving into Weighted On Base Average, or WOBA, a stat that goes far beyond batting average to paint a much clearer picture of that hitter's performance. But before we get there, we need to look at how hitting metrics have evolved over time. Let's start by taking a look at the classic stat batting average. For decades, it was the gold standard for measuring hitters. A 300 batting average? Elite. Below 250? You're struggling. Whenever you talked about a good hitter, you often referred to their batting average. But here's the problem. Batting average treats every hit the same. A single counts just as much as a home run. And we all know a home run has a much higher impact on scoring runs than a single does. Also, it completely ignores walks and hit by pitches. This means that a player with more power or better plate discipline doesn't get any credit for their impact. Enter on base percentage, or OBP, which attempts to take batting average a step further by evaluating a player's ability, as the name describes, get on base. OBP includes walks and hit by pitches, acknowledging that getting on base, no matter how, helps your team. An average OBP is around 320, while a good OBP is above 340, and elite hitters often flirt with 400 or higher. But OBP still doesn't account for power. A player who draws 100 walks might have the same OBP as a slugger with 40 home runs and fewer walks. Clearly, something is still missing. So we turn to slugging percentage next. Slugging measures the total number of bases a player accumulates per at-bat, assigning higher values to doubles, triples, and home runs than singles. Think of it as a measure of a player's raw power. This is starting to get closer. A player with more power that hits more extra base hits is going to be rewarded with this stat. But there's still an issue. Slugging doesn't take into account walks or hit by pitches, and it improperly weights those extra base hits. Is a triple really three times more valuable than a single? A home run twice as valuable as a double? It is a step in the right direction, of course, but it's still not perfect. You could have a high slugging percentage, but still hurt your team by rarely getting on base. So, we had the bright idea to combine OBP and slugging. This is how we get OPS, or On Base Plus Slugging. It checks many of the boxes that flawed batting average. It takes into account a hitter's ability to hit for power, while also measuring his skills to reach base. OPS became one of the first advanced stats that balanced power and on-base skills. A good OPS is usually above 800, while elite sluggers will be breaking 1000. You are starting to see this stat utilized a ton more on broadcasts and stat sheets nowadays due to its simplicity and its accuracy. But even OPS has its limitations. It of course inherits the flaws of both OBP and slugging that we have discussed already, but it also weights OBP and slugging equally. Which is more valuable, getting on base or power when it comes to generating runs? And that's where WOBA takes the baton. WOBA fixes the flaws of batting average, OBP, slugging, and even OPS by weighting every outcome based on its actual contribution to scoring runs. Singles, doubles, triples, home runs, even walks and hit by pitches are all assigned values based on how much they impact the game. Now I know this formula looks complex, but that gives us a simple output. Let's break it down. Each outcome has a weight. A single is worth about 0.88 runs. A double, around 1.25. A triple, 1.6. And a home run, just over two. Unintentional walks and hit-by-pitches are also included, and they're slightly less valuable than singles. These weights aren't arbitrary. They're calculated based on how often each event leads to runs, meaning WOBA reflects real offensive value. These weights also change slightly from year to year based on that season's run-scoring environment. You can find updated weights for each season dating back to the late 1800s on Fangraph's website, which makes this stat great for comparing across decades. Let's take a look at a practical example by comparing two players. Player A is more of a singles hitter with a 295 batting average, a slugging of 469, and an OBP of 338, which equates to an OPS of 807. Player B is more of a slugger with a 288 batting average. He hit 41 home runs last year while slugging 569, and he had an OBP of 419. That's an OPS of almost 1,000, 988. If you simply look at batting average, it's easy to assume that player A is probably slightly better. 
but taking a step deeper to include the stats we've looked at today, you can see that you'd definitely prefer player B's on-base skills and slugging ability over player A. All WOBA does is simplify that process a little easier by taking your typical triple slash line and condensing it into one number. That's why WOBA is considered a superior stat. The players referenced before? Player A is Trey Turner, who had a WOBA of 349 in 2024. That's pretty solid. And player B is Juan Soto, who had a WOBA of 421. That's elite. This transitions us nicely into understanding the scale of what is good and what is bad with WOBA. The league average for WOBA is typically around 320. Sound familiar? That's because this stat is going to always be right around the league average OBP for that season. That makes over 340 above average and over 400 really good. This context makes it easy to spot who's excelling and who's struggling offensively by taking a look at one number and one number only. For the average fan, WOBA is incredibly easy to use. Website like Fangraph and Baseball Savant display WOBA for every player on their player page and even show off leaderboards of who's having the best season or career utilizing these advanced stats. Want to settle debates over who's more valuable? Check their WOBA. It's the most accurate way to measure offensive performance. By the way, have you heard of PitchLogic? It's a smart baseball that connects to your phone through an app, giving you access to metrics like spin rate, velocity, and pitch movement. It's a tool that I think you guys would enjoy, whether you're a player looking to hone your craft or a fan of the channel looking to dig deeper into the game. PitchLogic is an affordable way to set up your baseball knowledge. Check out the link at the top of the description if you're looking to get a ball for yourself. If you liked this video and you'd like to support the channel, check out our new merch. You can find it on the website, link down below, or in the store tab right here on the channel. Every purchase helps us bring you more deep dives into baseball stats and analytics. If you enjoyed this breakdown, you'll definitely enjoy one of the other videos that are on the screen now. We've got more content on advanced stats like OPS+, War, and so much more. These videos are handpicked to help you keep diving deeper into baseball analytics. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.